Flax, let us know just, you know, kind of a, a week out at this point, you know, what's what's the emotion like, you know, pay-per-view, main event, big blockbuster fight, what's uh, what's the feeling like right now? Living the dream, <laughs> living the dream right now. It's, it's great to be here, it's great back in Vegas, and and this fight is just amazing. It's uh, everything I want, everything I want, so I'm feeling great. I know it's exciting for everybody. What's what's the most exciting part for you, though? Is it the fact that, you know, there's a UFC title on the line, which you've wanted, or is it the rematch with John Jones that you've always wanted? What's the more intriguing aspect of it for you? Well, if, if you know a little bit of both, of course, but if I have to choose one, it, it's a, it's the rematch right there. It's again my fight fighting John Jones again, and, uh, and it's been five years since since we fought, and it's just a fight I've been wanting for a long time and dreaming about and training for all this time. I've been training, competing for just this fight, so this is it. So when you say training, I mean, were you specifically like when you're having sessions, are you like I'm thinking yeah, about we're him. for this guy, but we're getting I'm ready preparing to for every session. I prepare for him. That's the best guy out there, and and that's the guy I'm beating. So I was going to ask, like, how much over these five years? I know you've always said, I want the rematch at some point, but, like, every day did you think about this rematch over the last five years? Not maybe every day, but, but uh, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I can't want, want more than, uh, than this. This is just, it's a dream fight. And when I'm saying that, I mean, like, that's the thing that's been pushing me the most. I want to have the best, the biggest fights, fighting the best guys out there, and this is the, this is just the highlight. This is it. Did you ever let yourself kind of play like what if? I mean, that was such a close fight. You know, what if one point had gone the other way and you walked away? Did you think about what alternate reality would be like if you had, if you had won that night? I've been thinking about it, of course, uh, multiple times. But uh, right now we have a new fight coming up here, and you know, hit the history is just it's just a past, nothing else. And this is it. So so you know. I'm, I'm here to I'm here to beat the the guy that's never been beating, beat to get the best guy out there. So so I'm I'm motivated. I'm I'm, I'm on fire right now. I'm feeling great. I've never been this uh, in this good shape of my life. So I'm feeling great. How many times have you watched that fight? Uh, I don't even I don't know. Too many times. What can you take from him? I mean, it was a long time ago, but are there things you learned in that 25 minutes that will matter? Of course, that was fight? my first 25 <clears throat> minute fight. My first five rounder, and it was the best guy out there. So, yeah, I learned a lot from that fight. It was even if I lost that fight, it was still it's still a highlight in my career and something I remember for my life. So, Alex, when you look at it though, you know John has had a couple suspensions. You've had a couple of losses. So, what effect does the five years and all the you know the things that have happened in the interim have on the way this fight will go down? <clears throat> you know, it's it's hard to say. It's. Uh, I don't. I don't think it will affect it at all. I'm, I'm. I'm preparing for the best John out there. I'm preparing for a better John this time than last time. So I just. I just. I, I just want to fight the best. The best. No excuses after this fight. No excuses at all. It doesn't matter what he's been doing or what I've been doing. It doesn't matter now. It's just. It's all about the 29th. Sometimes fighters embrace after fight and talk. Did John say anything to you that led you to believe he thought you won that last fight? <clears throat> well. Yeah, maybe one, once or twice. Maybe I heard something that you know, like like, like he said too. It's it's it's. Uh, and I'm saying it too. It's it's the best fight in the light heavyweight division in, in the UFC ever. So, so we did something good. We did something right in that fight, and I can promise you that this fight will be even better. It will even be better. I'm preparing for ten rounds, and I will push him from round one to to the to the end of it. And what is your take on the fact that he says? He didn't train. I mean, if he did not train, that was a remarkable performance to do what he did uh, against a guy of your caliber. But do you f feel like that's just him trying to make up for himself not maybe looking good in the fight or not looking like the way he expected him to Hundred percent. It's just excuses. This guy's trains harder than ever. He's been saying all those things like I was drunk, I didn't train, blah blah. blah. Can you imagine right now? How does it feel like to to hear things like that? Just give me a smile on my, just a smile on my face. Nothing else. It's. Just me. I know he's just making up these things just to to create goals in my head or whatever. I don't know excuses to to excuse his performance. I have no clue. But but it, you know it doesn't really matter. I know this guy is the best guy out there because he's training so hard. He's he's dedicated, and he's the best guy out there. So it's impossible not for him not to train and perform like that. He has to be training, and I know he's training. So. Alex, at the last fight, there was a lot of blowback from the fans the way the UFC portrayed or promoted the fight, saying, "Oh, this, you know, you're tall and using your height as the fact that it was going to be a thing." And people scoffed at that, but it turned out that your height actually gave him problems. Your length and, and your height gave him problems. What impact does that size have? And do you think it's always going to be one of those things because you know you match up with him a way nobody else does? 
Absolutely. I mean, I'm his kryptonite. He doesn't like to fight me. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing something that he, he can't really handle. This, this, that's what makes it such a good fight. What does your height do that, like, say, DC, you know, DC shorter doesn't have, that DC's not able to do in a fight? Like, when, what does your height do for you against him that other guys can't do? Well, I got a better reach. I move, I'm, I'm the fastest guy in the light heavyweight division. I had the best footwork. So, and he doesn't match with that. What do you think about John personally? It sounds like you've got a lot of respect for him. I mean, you're saying good things that he's the best, the best ever, but he's had all these problems and all these issues over the years. What do you, what do you think about him as a person, as a, as a representative of the sport? Well, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that because we all role models here. <clears throat> uh, we have to present the sport very good and, and even the organization, the, the UFC. So, well, no, I'm not a fan at all, uh, but we're not here to be friends or whatever. We're here to compete. and. And uh, when, I, when I'm saying he's the best, it's because I really believe he's the best. And this is, that's why this fight motivates me so much. This is the best fight. I, I, I wanted this fight from, from the start, so it can't be bigger than this. Should his career have an asterisk to it, though? I mean, with these drug allegations that have come up multiple times now, I mean, do you look at what he's accomplished with a little bit of a, yeah, but, you know, he tested positive? Well, you know, it, it's it's up to it's it's up to him whatever he what he chooses to do and, and not to do. At the end of the day, it all comes down to who wants it more. And and and, and I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy for him. I'm, I'm the John era is over. The John era is over. I'm here to take over that, and I'm here to take the belt and and beat and beat him once and for all. What do you think about him talking about DC over the last couple of days? He's saying you know challenge with DC. It sounds like he's already looking past you, talking about having a, a fight with DC. I just have to wake him up, <laughs> and I will. A lot of people criticize this fight, saying that he shouldn't be the one fighting for the title. Uh, do you think somebody else uh, deserves better, like being in this fight with you? No. No, I think he deserves the title. Alex, should you beat John? Obviously, Daniel was the light heavyweight champion before that, and he beat you. Is that the, the fight that you would want next? I don't want to do a John Jones here. I don't want to look past anyone. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but yeah, let's see what happens. You know, it's it's uh, you know when I take that belt, it will be a new experience for me. You know, I've been I've been in this position before, uh, and and I lost. I, I know that feeling. I experienced that before. I, I never I never been a world champion before, so I don't know what what, what the next step will be. But we're looking for that big fights. You know, and and I want to avenge my losses too. I got a loss to DC too, so let's see what happens. What hurts you more? What hurts you more? Getting knocked out like you did by Rumble, where it was like one huge punch and you go down, or losing a fight to John, where there's some people that still think you won that fight. Like, which one was tougher for you to deal with? Losing to John for sure. Losing to John, it's it's everybody can get hit, and and and. Anthony is a, is a big hitter. He's, you know, he's, all it takes is just one punch. Uh, but yeah, losing on, on very small marginal, like, like I lost to John and to DC, it hurts more. And when you said you watched the fight a number of times, have you ever scored any differently? Like when you watch it, you ever said, well, maybe I can see why they gave it to John? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. It, 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 was, a, it was a close fight, and, and he's such a dominant f champ and has been there been for, for many years, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I accepted it now, and it's all good. I learned a lot from that fight. How, how do you do uh, this time, though, to not leave it to the judges? Um, you... um, no, yeah, yeah. If I see that opportunity, I'll take it, and I'll give everything I have. I don't trust the judges at all. Are you afraid that if you go to decision, you know? No, not at all. I'm going to push him for, for five rounds. I'm going to make sure. If I beat him on points, I'm going to make sure I win every round. And that's how I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to take every round from him. I'm not going to give him an inch. If you give that guy an inch, he grows. You guys, I remember that night, you guys both went to the hospital that night. Did you guys, did you guys interact much? I don't remember. Did you guys interact at all? Did you cross paths that evening after the fight? Yeah, yeah, we saw each other. We talked a little bit, had a good laugh, and that was it. Did he offer you respect? Did he, I mean? Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. So at that time, he wasn't making excuses. He was no, just, not at all, no. He didn't say, oh, I didn't train for you, bro. No, I didn't. <laughs> He's never said that in my face. How difficult is it when you're, you're in your prime, but it's, you've had a lot of inactivity because of injuries and so forth? How does that affect you and, and affect your training? 
it's been it's been uh, tough from time to time, but uh, I think this this layoff I had now for one and a half years has just been good for me. I've just been been training my ass off. I, I'm a much better fighter today than I than than I was when I fought Glover, and and I just feel great. And like I said before in other interviews, if people wanted this fight, I want this fight. If this fight should happen, it should happen now because I'm I'm never going to be. I'm never going to be this ready that I am right now. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so motivated and I just feel my skill set are there, my conditioning, my strength, everything is just there. So the fight is happening now. Everybody talks about John and DC as, as two of the best to ever do it and you've given them hellacious fights. I mean, if you win this, do people need to start talking about you in that discussion? Of course. Of course. I'm here to take over. I'm, I'm, I'm here to take John's, John's place in... in, in, in in the rankings, in, in the history of the sport. I'm here, I, w I want what he has. I want people talking about me as they're talking about him. That's why I'm doing this. We saw the year of bad matchup. You said you're, you're as kryptonite, you're a bad matchup for him. Why do you think he took this fight? Well, I think he feels pressure. I think he, feel, he, he, he feels that he needs to, to show everybody that, that he didn't lose that fight. So I think, you know, he feels pressure and, and uh, it's a challenge. This guy, he likes challenges too. Do you think he's thought about the fight a lot too, and how how close it was to him, you know, suffering a loss and everything else? Do you think he's kind of gone over that in his head? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Gus, is there anything you know? John has never lost. DC's only lost to John. When you look at them, is there anything that you can take from them that helped them be so consistent that maybe you learned by looking at them that you've applied to your training and that will be in your game this time around? <clears throat> well, we all different. D different individuals with different strengths and weaknesses, but overall, they 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 are they are competitors, and and they have they have a, to be a, a competitor on that level. You need to have a you need to have have that uh, you have to put that time in training. You have to be ready mentally. It's a, it's a lot of factors that has to be put in places, and I think that's what they they've been mastering very well. And 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 I've been learning a lot just watching them, fighting them, and. You know, I'm I'm 31 years old, and I feel that I just I just started this. I feel like uh, I got so much I got I got so much motivation and, and and to show everybody that that it wasn't the best me out there when I fought them. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for John back in 2013 or DC 2015. I'm this is now it's my time now, and I'm ready. I'm more than ready, and I will show everybody the 29th. How much have you thought about with John going through everything that you might not get this opportunity to avenge the loss? Did it ever go through your mind that you may never get to fight John again? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, of course, of course, I had, uh, absolutely. Uh, but you know, he's he's too good of a fighter not to not to fight again. So it was just a matter of time. Did you think when everything was going? Do you? Let me ask you this: Do you think he's a cheater, or do you think he's just unknowingly doing things that are messing up his career? Or is he just a liar? Because it just seems like there's so many things about John that have negatively affected his career, but is he a cheater? Well, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me if he's a cheater or not. He, he, he can cheat the 29th, I don't care. It doesn't matter if he, if he takes his steroids or if he does, he, does he, his, 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 his alcohol or his narcotic, I, I, don't, I don't care. I'm gonna go in there. I know what I've been doing. I know I'm prepared for it. And me and my whole team are making sure that I'm ready for war. And I'm gonna win that 29th and, and take everything from him. How difficult is it for you fighting over the holidays? Just the fact that you know you have a new family and everything. Is it made it tougher for you, or do you feel like you get it over with and now you'll be able to have your holiday after? Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. Be it's, it's tough be be away from home, but but at the same time it motivates me. You know, you don't get anything for free. It's all about sacrifices, and I'm here to, I'm here to, I'm here to to win. Nothing else. How old is your your, or your children? I got two children. One is one and a half, and one is three three months. So they they, they maybe don't really know about Christmas too much. No, no, not really, not really. So so it's all good still, but it would it wouldn't matter if they were ten or if it, one and a half, you know. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that.